Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. In terror being the highly anticipated Halo Mega Blocks set number 97117, Forward Done to Dawn. This is the first set in the brand new Signature series. It's exclusive to Toys R Us. Includes a whopping 2,877 pieces, and the retail price is $249.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging. Opening the box reveals this awesome illustration of Master Chief and Cortana, the instructions book, along with four UNSC theme boxes, which contain the actual parts. Included with the set is the gigantic UNSC Forward Unto Dawn and four minifigures. The first minifigure is the UNSC Technician, who was previously only available with the countdown set. He's painted in light gray for his jumpsuit, silver for the details and armor plates, and tan for his skin. And he does have a peg hole on the back of his torso. Up next is the UNSC Officer, who has a completely new head sculpt, torso, and comma. He's painted in dark gray for his jumpsuit, with light gray, black, and red for detailing. And there is a peg hole on the back of the figure. Moving on is the Covenant Elite Zealot, who's painted in dark blue for his armor, dark gray for the jumpsuit, pink for detailing, and blue for his eyes. And there is a peg hole on the back of his torso. And last but not least is the first official Master Chief minifigure, who has over 30 paint passes. He's painted in metallic green for his armor, with black for details, and gold for his visor and he does have a peg hole on the back of his torso. Weapons and accessories include a plasma rifle and a battle rifle with painted details. The Forward Unto Dawn is not only the largest Halo Mega Box set to date, but it's also the first capital ship from Halo to be made into Mega Box. Even at 1.500 scale, it's extremely detailed and they kept it as accurate as possible to the Halo 4 design. Stickers include UNSC Eagles, vehicle detailing, lights, more vehicle detailing, various control panels, and even more vehicle detailing. On the bottom of the ship is four black display stands, which can be removed, and attached to one of those stands is a commemorative plaque with the Ford Unto Dawn's details engraved on. Attached to the front of the ship is the Mac Cannon, as well as multiple antennas with red and blue lights. Attached to both sides of the ship is many small pieces, which add fine detail, including vents, lights, and other doodads. Also on both sides is the main hangar bay, which is represented by blue translucent plates. On the top of the hull is silos for the Archer missile delivery system. Moving down the ship is two plates with Forward Unto Dawn printed on. Towards the middle there's three cannons on both sides, and there's also four point defense turrets which can rotate around. On the top is the bridge, which has antennas, as well as yellow translucent blocks to represent viewports. And on the back of the ship, is five engines. On the top of the ship, three large segments can be removed which reveal the interior. Inside is a fully stocked armory with five Halo 3 assault rifles, three new design SMGs, three magnums, three frag grenades, a radio backpack, and a sticky detonator with painted details. In the middle is six control stations which have computers, adjustable levers, and various other controls. And all the way in the back is the cryo bay which has a control pedestal, a miniature Cortana with a light up base, and Master Chief's number 16 cryo tube, which has just enough room to display one figure inside, and it has an opening and closing hatch. And last but not least, the ship can be split in half, as it appears in Halo 4, with a lowering ramp where you can display the Master Chief. So for about $250, you get a jaw-dropping one-of-a-kind set. Megavox did a phenomenal job on this one. They managed to keep it as accurate as possible to 343's new design. They made it enormous at just over 38 inches long, and at the same time incorporated iconic features such as the cryo bay and the ability to split it in half. And on top of that, you get a one of a kind Master Chief minifigure. So anyways, that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video.